God, it gets irritating after a while. Oh! What's going on here? Is that all? Yep. This is the best that can be obtained around here. You think I can win with these crude parts? What do you know about uh, parts now? You have got a point. Compared to the champ's gear, the quality just does not match up. There's nothing we can do, bro. Master Rico's gear is a special make of gear provided by the committee. From maintenance to parts, it receives the best of everything. And you guys are surprised that he keeps winning? Ah, come on, guys. As long as money is involved, the champ will go all out. That's one of the reasons he's so powerful. Can't we get better parts? This... <laughs> Mysterious voice. As it... Wait, what did he say? Fuck! Who's there? Tell him it's Rico. Oh, it's Wiseman! Long time, Faye. I should give him the... The Dark Knight's voice. This guy seems like totally evil, but uh, I'm pretty sure that at the end of the game it's going to turn out to be his dad or something. You're the one from the Ave tournament. What do you want? I'm busy right now. <laughs> busy right now. He's, he's probably just going to kill you, you know? At least he has the strength. <laughs> no matter how high quality your gear may be. You won't be able to defeat him. Uh, what are you talking about? And he just... Wow, he just vanishes. Okay. Okay. I don't think uh, good guys have the cap uh, capacity to ju just teleport out of a place. So, he's definitely a bad guy. And everybody just searching on for where he teleported to. Oh, he's... Oh, you just teleported like from here. Yikes! You still do not understand, do you? Then let me show you. Are we gonna fight him? Why do you suddenly want to fight for? Are you cri- What do you mean, why do you suddenly want to fight for? Huh. What do you suddenly want to fight for? Are you crazy or something? I think that's well established now. Enough talk. Take this. That's gonna be a one shot. Oh! You're serious? Of course. So put up a good fight. Because if you don't, your life is mine. Okay. I guess this is for reals? <laughs> gonna be what only 200 damage I guess we're actually supposed to win this you know what I should do Counter force, counter when enemy attacks. Might not be a bad idea in this fight. Let's let's give it a try. Because uh counter up. That guy did say No, we're still taking physical damage and we're not countering. So what what good was that for? Yeah, I don't get it. Anyway, what I really wanted to do. Hello. Uh what I wanted to Iron Valor. All of her attacks will hit harder. I wish we had haste. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's like 75% extra damage. Should have done that first, first move itself. Oh, he's doing something. <clears throat> That's the same technique as me. How come? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, this is definitely our dad. What? I guess this was just supposed to be some certain number of turns. But yeah, I should, I should keep that in mind. Always use Inner Force first. Or Iron Valor, sorry. Fighting brute strength with brute strength is a sign of a great fool. It's obvious that a lighter body such as yours will always be at a disadvantage in a head-on attack. Okay, so he just... <coughs> he just like one-shot Fei, eh? Theoretically speaking. I just give you a good example. That minor difference between you and I had this outcome. Now, someone else with a mask several times as you, such as Rico? Like Rico, the outcome becomes highly apparent. This applies to Gears as well. Even if you were to get parts comparable to Rico's, there is still that difference in mass. <coughs> okay, maybe I can't do that voice. What do you mean there's a difference in mass? If we get same parts as Rico, it'll be the same mass, right? What is he talking about? Don't tell me our own weight. Is he trying to explain the weight mechanic? I thought we were supposed to reduce our weight. But I was thinking like front mission. No, no, no. I guess we were supposed to increase our weight. Let's just start eating a lot more now. But I was told that the weight mechanic does not uh, apply anywhere. I don't know. Usually, the more heavy you are, the less agile you are. Shouldn't shouldn't agility trump mass? This is going against all uh, fighting techniques here. To make up for this. One must commit to a single final strike that thrusts at the opponent's fissure. Huh. I have given you the hint. Um, I don't get it. It's up to you to figure it out through experience. I don't get it, man. Wait! Why is it that you have the same fighting style as I? And how do you know my name? Tell me! Huh. Fine. It was three years ago. The one who took you in your mutilated state to that mountain village was none other than myself. Called it! You're the one who brought me to Lahan? Yes, at your father's request. Oh wait, he's not our father. Okay, never mind. My father's? What's your relation to my father? Khan and I were fellow students. Khan? Shah Khan? Khan and I were fellow students. What the fuck? Khan? Is that my father's name? I'm a Muslim? Why do you ask for your father's name? You haven't lost your... Oh, he thinks he hasn't lost his memory. Yeah, so tell me anything you can, will you? I see. In your injured state. I wouldn't have been surprised. Wise man! Khan Wong. That is your father's name. Since our youth, Khan and I studied the martial arts together. Father and you? Yes. Eventually your father became an officer of a certain country. 
there he met a young woman. She was about 20 years old. Her name was Karen. <laughs> Your mother's name is Karen. She was like a flower in full bloom. How would you know? Maybe both of them deflowered her. Flower? He means that she was extraordinarily beautiful. Fucking Karen's. I see. Then she's... Yes, your mother. Who? Khan married your mother. And I left on a journey to strengthen myself. Then my mother... Where is my mother now? You do not remember that either? I see. According to Khan, when you were but a child, she passed away. Of course she did! Because why not? She was only 20 years old. Oh. Time passed. During my journey, I received a letter from Khan. <coughs> the letter said that his son was taken away by a man. Hashtag protagonist. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised his dad's still alive. Maybe not. Khan once said you had special powers. The man who wanted that power took you. That man was Graf. Okay. We met Graf. Graf! He took me away! You've met him? Yeah. Three times. It's amazing you are still in one piece. It seems to Graf that I was still not powerful enough to achieve his ultimate goal. Anyway, let me hear more about the story. Khan wished to go find his son, and if possible, he wanted my help. I agreed to Khan's request and began searching for you. And that man. Then came that one fateful night three years ago. There was a violent storm. The storm felt as if it was thrown at us through sheer rage. That night, Khan notified me that he had located his son. So I headed for that location as if I was drawn to it. You and Khan were wounded badly. I have no idea what had happened between you two and Graf. By then, Graf had already gone. I don't know why, but probably he was driven away by Khan. Khan decided to pursue Graf and left me to care for his son. <coughs> I provided you the necessary first aid and left you in the custody of those village people. Then I followed after Khan. You probably lost your memory when you were injured then. Why did my father pursue Graf? To exact revenge? I do not even know. Just that he said it was not only for the sake of uh, his son, but also for the sake of the world, that that man has to be disposed of. He added that if something were to happen to him, I would have to take care of the rest. I haven't seen or heard from him since. Oh, okay, he's dead. Hashtag protagonist. Graf said my father was dead. Maybe Graf is a... No, no way. Hmm. If Graf has been appearing in your presence, then that is a possibility. That is truly unfortunate. Do you remember anything about your fighting techniques? Huh? No, nothing. Hmm. Your fighting skills were probably taught to you by Khan. Khan and I both studied under the same master. That is why my techniques are similar to yours. Well then, I must be off. Hey, thanks for the chat. To where? I will go find him. I need to pinpoint what his intentions are. And also, for Khan's sake. Just tell me one thing. What country was my father an officer for? Are you going there? I don't know. There are other things I have to take care of. Yes. The floating land which tries to hide behind a wall, protected, as if to conceal that failure. That is Shevat. Oh, I've heard of this place. That is your father's country. Shevat. The 
Floating land? How many games have a floating continent? Now that I think about it, even Chrono Trigger has one. Floating landmass, let's say. Farewell. Hey! What a mysterious person. Is this the second time you have met him? Huh? Oh, yeah. Since that tournament in Ave, he sure is a mysterious person. I probably won't understand straight away what he meant today. What is all that? I've only known you since you arrived here. What is this Ave tournament? What is going on? Bro? But I think I get the general idea. I might be able to do something in tomorrow's final round. The difference in the performance of the gear parts are not going to influence the outcome. Well, not as much as I thought before. Never underestimate the situation. You might lose pretty badly if you think you can just win by getting a grasp of the concept. I know, Doc. Well, let us return to our quarters and rest, Faye. Your fate lies in the outcome of tomorrow's competition. You need to preserve your strength. Why is the gear that's going to do the fighting? But I guess uh, he needs.